Hey friends, CD from AK3R here, and this is a little vlog I did because one of my close friends and associates, Miss Tamara Eastman, is making a book on one of the local, on a, a, a fire that happened in Petersburg, Virginia, uh, about 200 years ago, I believe. And I went with her to the site to talk about, well, her and some of her historian friends, we went to the site to just talk about history. And she's writing a book on it. Watch out for it in the future. I think it's called The Great Fire of Petersburg. Watch out for it in the future. It might be coming out either this fall or next spring. I don't know. I think it's this fall. But yeah, be on the lookout. Yeah. We are at Blanford Cemetery out in Petersburg, Virginia. You can't see the graves that well. But is there a sign over there? There is a sign over there, which I can't read right now. We are at Blanford Cemetery. And we're going to go pay our respects to the victims of a fire that happened quite some time ago. I think 200 years ago. And it's going to be in the newspaper. A good old... But it's history. History. Every day we in your story. And you will... Mm -hmm. I know, I'm being naughty right now. <laughs> oh my god! I gotta take that off of there! <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, Chandler has written some of the scripts. Um, and he is acting. He's gonna be playing the part of um, Lady, Lord and Lady Harvey's servant. Are you in the and, insurrection or in... No, he's going to be in the English film. He's going with us to England. Yeah, mm -hmm. Gallows Bait. Okay. And uh, what are you doing? Uh, Noland, I believe, was his name. And uh, she remarried again. Her actual last name was R-O-W-E. Now, they got it misspelled on the tombstone here. And they did uh, quite a lot. And then she outlived her second husband. And one of her sons was... Oh, he was big shot here, a politician and everything. But she died of cancer. And um, they said she suffered for like over a year and uh, finally passed away from it. Back then, when you had cancer back then, you were screwed. Um, and it even, I think it even says on her stone that she um, was sick for a very long time. It said something about the um, actual painful and lingering illness, but it was cancer is what she had. Um, and she passed away shortly after Christmas that year. And her husband was, her second husband was always screwing around with somebody while she was on her deathbed. Because he got married a few days after they buried her to a new woman that was already pregnant. That's how men were about Family. Um, the right kids the looked at her like, like a member of the family. family. They called her Aunt Lucy. And, and, um, and you know, a, that does go to show that, like, that a lot of slaves did have a bond, especially with children. They would develop a bond with them, and they were like uncle so and so or aunt so and so. Um, and the kids looked at them like a surrogate mother or father in a lot of cases. Um, you know, so yes, there were slave masters that were a bunch of dicks. There were others that were very protective of their slaves and would actually treat them like members of the family and so forth. And Lucy is a good example of that. And I do talk about her in the book. I have a, a segment about her in there. Um, his older brother his name is Paulson. They were from uh, Delaware. And he came here and was doing an apprenticeship with somebody. And uh, was staying with his brother and uh, was killed one day. I, I don't know exactly how he died, though. Um, but he was like, I think 19 or something, just a boy. A lot of young people, a whole lot of young people in this graveyard. A whole lot of babies over here. A um, lot of women who are buried with their babies in this graveyard uh, from the colonial time through the 1800s. Um, it was the leading killer of women back then. Um, there were, there's a girl in here that's 16 that died having her first child. Um, there's a girl that's 17 that's buried in here. And a lot of them were, some of the women were older though. There were some ladies that were in their 30s who were having their fourth or fifth child or something and then they died of complications with that. 
there is a as, as I mentioned a lady over here and all of her children are buried and then she's buried with the last one the baby is buried in the coffin with her and she died having that child Stott was her last name S-T-O-T-T -T. Um, so you know yeah that's fascinating isn't it okay so where's she out of that don't ask Petersburg is a very historic place. That's one, thing, that's one of the things I like about Virginia. I might complain about it sometimes, but it's a very historical place. That's what I like about it. Wiped out about two thirds of the city. And this gentleman, he is now the people are buried all through here, but he's the only stone that's still standing. And uh, he was killed down in the. If you know where Old Town is. Uh -huh. If you saw a building called Woody's Antiques, I didn't see it. But okay. okay, right on the corner of Old and Sycamore, kind of like where the Farmers Market building is. Okay. He had run into the um, printing press and was trying to help pull some people out of there that were injured. The building went up like an atomic bomb, and what was left of him is buried here. Most of the people, their bodies were just cremated in the street. Oh, um, today. Today, and we're writing a book on this. So, really? yeah. So the book is getting ready to come out this cool. fall. And What's it going to be called? The Great Fire of Petersburg, Virginia. Oh, yeah. I'll look it up. And um, it it's being published by a company called the yeah. History Press wow. in New York City. They also have an office in Charleston, Will I think. It'll be uh, paper. Will it'll be, just it, be online. It, no, no. It, it's an actual book. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah an okay. actual. I mean, just depends. Um, depends how you want to publish. It. Yeah, I, I don't like the online stuff. I like the old-fashioned. I like to pick up a book and actually touch well, it. So do I, but, yeah, I'm you know, the same way. And so, the, um, the writer, so I went with a publisher that actually does yeah. that. 